Good evening. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Frugal Outdoors and me, Dylan, and I hope you're all well. Uh, trying a new venue this evening. I've never fished down here before. Uh, Ross has, he's meet me down here in a bit, so I've got down here already so I can set the rods up. Uh, we're fishing in Gurnard. I can't remember the name of the beach, but I will tell you in a little while because Ross knows what it is. But we're fishing at Gurnard, so looking into the Solent. Solent is right there. That's the mainland there. Uh, so yeah, basically come down the road, turn left, public footpath down here and everything. And it looks great. Uh, conditions are pretty good. Water's a bit dirty. Uh, the wind is coming from the west and it was coming, it's swinging slightly from the north as well later. Uh, but it's super sheltered down here. I've just left up the road. But it's quite windy. And I got down here and it is no longer windy, which is really nice. Uh, sun is shining. Uh, yeah, so let's get set up. Uh, hopefully targets tonight is going to be bream and bass uh, and also we've got the chance of possibly picking up a smooth hound uh, on the bass bait uh, but predominantly I really want to try and get some bream uh, and there's a possibility of a gilt head along here so that'd be really nice never had one uh, lots of people haven't had them on the island they're, they're few and far between but they are here uh, and there was a huge one caught not from here but from further around the corner uh, seven pounds something I think it was nearly eight pounds uh, yeah big old big old lump uh, so yeah if I can get into one uh, you know two pounds it'd be great uh, yeah let's get set up get tripod and camera all set up I'll show you the way down stick some music on and uh, yeah I shall see you in a bit Right, let's have a quick look and see what we got. Uh, so I'm using my 13 foot two rod today on one side and uh, I'm using the Vega that I got um, lent on the last outing at the comp. Uh, I wanted to give that a go. So it's a Vega, uh, a Gawa, uh, and that's a 15 foot. So it's my first go with a 15 foot rod. Uh, on that side, I've got a three hook. It's a new rig, experimental rig. It's a three hook rig. <laughs> Uh, clipped two up one down uh, and the bottom the lead is actually on a running thing I'll show you a bit later but these are rigged up ready to go uh, on there I've got rag tipped with um, crab legs uh, on the other side it's a 2-0 uh, clipped rig 2-0 uh, hooks and a bigger rag uh, squid head down there and a big lump of squid there I just want to get these out I've got some crab which is defrosting but um, I just want to get bait in the water for a minute so get these in and uh, see what happens. Right. Yep. Let's send that one straight towards that boy, I think. It's a big old rod. Right, let's get it out there. And this is what I feel much more comfortable casting because it's a bit shorter. That didn't go very far at all. So I need to launch this one to the left a bit. I'm only using five ounce grippers, so hopefully they'll be all right. It's almost into the wind out there, isn't it? 
almost into the wind. They're not going very far. Here we go, we're fishing. Uh, not the longest of casts, it's really deceptive because I think as soon as you're getting out there, you're straight into the wind. It's a crosswind, but slightly head on. Uh, it didn't go anywhere near as far as I thought it might. <laughs> I mean, it never does to be honest, but uh, yeah, not as far as I can normally put it, put it that way. Uh, but yeah, but they're in there. Uh, high tide is about half ten, we think. Um, and it's probably be about six o'clock now, so we've got a good four and a half hours. We'll probably fish another two hours on the drop. Uh, not massive tides, and we're just keeping our fingers crossed that it's not the weed isn't too bad. Um, like I say, they've been in the water for literally like four minutes, uh, and I'm itching for a bite already. Uh, yeah, I'm just hoping I can get a bream ready. That's the target for me: bream or a bass. Uh, but like I say, when those um, when those crabs are defrosted, uh, would be expecting to get hound as well. So hopefully, you can get a few fish tonight. Fingers crossed. Just gonna bring in the right hand rod. It's only been in the water for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but Ross just brought his in, and it's got a bit of weed, not massive, but enough. So yeah, I'm going to bring mine in to have a look. Whoa! Oh, so as you saw then, is pretty weedy uh, but we're gonna stick it out for a little bit see how it goes if it doesn't clear up in the next hour or so then we may consider moving uh, I'm gonna chuck that out now it's a bit of crab it's half a crab uh, it's just on a single single clipped rig uh, with 3 uh chenou and a 3 wide mouth so yeah like I say I'm gonna keep this one in close it is clipped but I'm only gonna chuck it in close uh, but yeah, I need to switch that other one over now and then probably get ready with another rig just to switch the other one as soon as it comes in. So keep trying. Woo. Well, we've been fishing <laughs> for just over an hour. Well, just over an hour, really. Maybe come up for an hour and a half. Uh, neither of us had any bites. Um, it was really weed weedy to begin with, but it's not too bad now. And the wind come around the point now we did say it's going to move um, you know come in more from the northwest and uh, it's definitely doing that now uh, it's pretty breezy uh, but the weed has eased up a little bit so there's something so I feel like we're fishing a little bit better um, chucking out half crabs at the moment on one side and still uh, the three hook rag uh, some of them tipped with uh, squid and some tipped with the crab legs uh, they're size 4 uh, O'Shaughnessy's on the top, two, and the bottom one is a size 2 O'Shaughnessy, so slightly bigger hook on the running ledger part of it. Uh, but yeah, nothing, nothing to report. Well, when the sun's out, it's glorious, but it's quite windy and a little bit weedy. There we go, first fish, first fish of the session, tiny little, little schoolie, but it's a fish, and that's what counts. Well done, mate.
Right, well, hopefully you can hear because uh, the wind has eased up quite a bit and actually there is pretty much zero weed now. Uh, we've just had a chat for about 10 minutes about are we going to stay, are we going to go? So we did think about moving on to Brook. Uh, but we are going to stay here. We've only fished for three hours and it'd be a shame not to give it a proper good go. Like Ross was saying, we haven't properly, uh, you know, we haven't fished to high yet. We've got an hour and a half till high water. And then we can fish a couple of hours of the ebb as well. And like I say, the conditions now are really quite good. Uh, we still only had that one school bass between us, but I'm going to change up some rigs. I'm going to stop using that three hook. I'm going to use a two hook rig instead. Uh, slightly bigger hooks. Uh, but yeah, just in the hope that we can pick something up. I haven't tried plain rag yet, so I'm going to give that a little go. And hopefully we can pull something out. But yeah, we are going to stay here. Uh, and it's called Cook's Bay. There we go. Cook's Bay at Gernard, Solent, Isle of Wight. Fishing's been a bit poor, to be fair. But you never know, it could change any second. So. Right, let's get some rigs sorted. Oh. In the meantime, I will leave you with the sunset because it's stunning. update uh, it's 10 o'clock and that's about the update really 10 o'clock um, still no more bites uh, the weeds come in a little bit but it seems to be soft again the winds picked up again which is probably why the weeds come in um, but yeah we're throwing everything out there man we're really really trying uh, in close out far uh, yeah all sorts of different baits different rigs uh, it's just not happening this evening uh, so yeah so if you're into your blanks and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, still got a couple of hours yet though at least two hours so it's not quite high tide uh, about another 20 minutes but yeah there's not a lot to really say to be honest um, yeah we haven't got anything so the footage is, is quite minimal but yeah we'll keep trying though so I'm just going to, uh, <laughs> soon as I can't show you any fish at the moment, I will show you uh, this next rig that I'm baiting up. Uh, it's a one up, one down, size one hooks, so not massive hooks. Uh, so there's one, so you've got some rag on there, if you can see, oh, there we go. Uh, that one's got rag, which I am going to tip just with a couple of little are these crab legs that I've got over here because I've got absolutely loads of them so I want to use them a lot of people are saying they don't have much luck and I haven't had much luck but um, you know I think as a tipping off bait it should be fine really so I'm literally just putting them on the bottom like that trying to leave them a little bit sort of natural so when they're in the water they're flapping around a little bit and likewise there that one has just got a piece of squid on and the same deal a couple of legs on the bottom they might come off in the cast but I'm not really throwing it out that far so but there we go that is one up one down that is going out any second Started, man. We've been fishing for like, I don't know, four hours now. 
and that's the first decent bite I've had in those four hours. And uh, I totally panicked. But when I held it, I struck and I didn't feel anything. And then I felt it go again. So I, th I thought it was on because it was a really good bite. I mean, I'll look back. It's probably a tiny bite, but in my mind, it was a massive bite. And, uh, and yeah, I missed it. That was on straight worm. So I'm going to worm get another worm bait up. I can't even talk because I'm excited. I've actually had a bite. Uh, yeah, I'm going to rig up another worm bait and... Uh, there's one straight back out, but that's only got one hook with worm on. That one that actually I just showed uh, baiting up. My heart's pounding. But yeah, that felt like a decent, I should have just let it, I'm so angst, like excited about actually getting a bite. Struck way too soon, I should have just let it develop and made sure it was on there. Anyway, hopefully we'll get another one. Ah, oh, gutted, man. On a slow night as well, like tonight. You really need to make those bites count. And uh, yeah, I did not. Uh, hopefully, like say, it will come back or there's something, maybe it's switched on. I think the tide has literally just turned. Uh, so yeah, maybe it switched them on feeds or there's a bit different movement in the water. But yeah, I just hope that's not my only opportunity to get a fish tonight. I have a feeling it might be, but you never know. Ha, well, I'm gonna, um, I've got one more rig baited up, but basically I've just put as much rag on there as I can fit on the hook all the way up the snooze and everything. So I'm gonna chuck that out now, that's my last last cast. And hopefully it will bring something a little unlikely, but you never know. It's happened so many times in the past, so I've picked up a fish in the last cast. So keep our fingers crossed and uh, we might get one. I said last chuck, last cast, and I might get a fish, and I got one. Pretty nice, pretty nice hound. Good to support them always. That's what I keep getting uh, told and and heard. Uh, but there we go, beauty. So we're gonna give it a quick way in the bag. See what we are thinking. I'm thinking. I think in about six and a half, but I said seven three. That's easy. To say. I'm going to say that's basically exactly six and a half. Six eight, six seven and a half, six eight, six eight. I oh, bang on. Which is quite unusual because I don't really know how big fish are. <laughs> so there we go. Six and a half pound. It's not the bass, it's not the bream, but it's a pretty decent, pretty decent hound. Ah, oh, well, that was really hard work. 
but we stuck it out and we did say we're going to really try and stick it out and uh, oh he beached himself one sec it's I found that before actually with a couple of hounds that I've had in the past you can hold them in the water for quite a while and stuff and, they, and they, I mean that one was super lively he started off but then he's beached himself again so just gave him a little nudge and he's gone off again now uh, yeah <laughs> last cast always last cast uh, Ross is just chucking out another crab he's chucking out crab now yeah, so I think we might have another chuck each because he just had a really big pull down and a slack line, but then there was nothing on there. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't going to have another chuck. Uh, but I may well do now. So yeah, that was actually on the crab. So it was the crab that was all still in the water. And I just had a last cast on the other rod. Uh, and that was on the crab. So I, I don't know. I'm going to bait something up and then have one more cut, one more chuck chuck. Oh, it is definitely, definitely a little sole, isn't it? So I haven't actually ever seen a sole, like, up close, properly. There we go, yeah, it's a I proper join, little slipper. I the sole comp. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would have won it. No way, that's so cool. What size, that's on the size four, is it? Yeah, yeah, size four, as you can see, loads of rag. Loads of rag. Oh, what well up, mate? Yes. Right, so I am going to have another chuck. I wasn't going to, but be silly not to, really. So let me just get my bait elastic. So yeah, basically, I'll just cut the uh, cut the crab in half. Probably tuck that bit in there a little bit. I've chucked all my worm in. So, I'll chuck this one out. I was going to chuck a bit of squid, but. But yeah, Ross has just said that. Um, Soul, new species for him. I've never seen a soul before, so that's pretty cool. There's a hook. So it's a pretty, pretty big lump of crab, but it's not that much bigger than the other one that went out. Juices are a flowing. Find the other hook. There it is. And uh, surprisingly, as well, that one was on the uh, on the main hook, whereas every other one I've had before has always been on the panel, but that one not. Right, let's chuck this out. It's literally on a running ledger, as well. Ah, right, well I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bring in one of these rods now. Uh, I've chucked that crab out, it's been out for maybe five, ten minutes. So I'm gonna leave that one in, bring the other rod in, the Vega, the green one. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice rod. It's probably a bit too long for me to be honest. Uh, but I had that really nice bite on there and it's got really good bite detection. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit too long. And I think we're casting it into the wind, so couldn't really get a good launch on it. But yeah, just want to say thank you for, for tuning in. Sorry I had to wait until right to the end to see a fish. Uh, but yeah, we got one in the end, so I'm pretty stoked. So uh, yeah, if you did like the video, and all joking aside, if you did like it, then please do like and subscribe and, uh, and click the, uh, the notification icon, hopefully, like I say. Uh, the next few videos or get into a few more fish uh, but yeah until the next one please stay safe take care and uh, and maybe i'll see you out on the beach cheers <laughs>